Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Brenning Meyer. Well, this week's lesson, we're back to the Dobro in Open G Tuning, and I'm calling this lesson Power Thumb. It's different licks and exercises to improve the, the strength and the speed and the dexterity of your thumb of your picking hand. A lot of times we focus on our index and middle of our picking hand and may, maybe sometimes overlook that thumb, but your thumb can really do a lot with string skipping, with playing two strings at the same time during a roll, um, you know, bring that thumb up to play your higher strings, your first, second, and third string. Lots of different things that this thumb can do on your right hand or your picking hand to really improve your speed, your strength, and your overall tone on the dobro. So if you're ready, go ahead and uh, print out your tablature. I got two pages here with, with five good exercises to go through, and uh, we'll get going with Power Thumb. Okay, so our first exercise, exercise number one, we'll go through measures one, two, three, and four. And it's basically a different way of playing your standard forward roll where you're doing this at the beginning of the roll. Right, let me show you what I mean. Here's measure number one. Basically what you're doing there is you're playing two strings, but you're playing a unison note. You're sliding in on your fourth string into a, a G note, and then your thumb is going on and playing your third string about the same time, and you're playing that open G string, which gives you two different G notes. Okay, and then you go on to your, your standard forward roll after that, but doing that really causes your thumb, first of all, you can get a little bit more power into it because you're really digging in there. Um, and you're forced to, to really have the dexterity to be able to only play two strings and bring your thumb up so you don't hit that second string. You're only playing your fourth and your third string with your thumb. Now the other thing it does is it forces you to work on your intonation with the note that you're sliding into because it's a unison note. You want it to be the exact same as that open string. And it kind of gives more of that banjo sound too. With that. And then what I've done for measures one, two, three, and four is I went through different notes out of the G chord. So this is G, the root of your chord. That's what we're sliding into there. Okay, and then on measure two, we're sliding to the B note. Measure three, we're sliding into the D note on our second string, keeping that bar tilted. Now, now you're bringing your thumb up to your second and first string, but still hitting two strings there. Okay, and then in measure four, we go to the lower D note on our fifth string. Just want to make sure that's in tune before we get going. suggest using a metronome. I've got some jam tracks that I'm going to include in this lesson um, that'll just be a G chord so you can practice along with it. But if that's too fast, you know, you may want to either get a, something to slow it down or just use a, a metronome. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing here. In measure one, we're sliding from four to five on my fourth string. And we're taking that thumb and we're just, we're bringing it on through and hitting that open third string. So you might just want to try that to start off with. And we're doing that twice. Okay, now we're leaving our, our finger or our bar there on our fifth fret, fourth string, and we're playing open first string, fourth string, third string, first string. So one, four, three, one. So that's the roll, and you do that twice per measure. So you're going to do that before each roll. You want to even it all out so it's okay the other 
thing is try to keep your fingers close to the strings. Um, sometimes I even find myself, you know, my fingers are coming up, up off the strings and I got to really focus on keeping them closer to the strings. Um, it'll get increase that speed if you can keep your fingers close to the strings. <laughs> So I suggest just starting off slow um, with that. Let me play the met the uh, the jam track that I've got, and we'll see how uh, how this sounds. <laughs> So you get the idea there. So basically, what you want to avoid is hitting the second string. You want to be able to dig in with your thumb on that fourth string, but then as soon as you hit that third string, your thumb is coming up. And my suggestion too is really dig in on that. You know, feel that thumb on your right hand. Feel it really work. You, you want to we're trying to build up the muscle right here on your thumb, that muscle right there. Push, push through the string. You know, hit it hard and really feel your thumb work. Okay, so moving on to measure number two, what we're basically doing is we're sliding into the B note, and then our roll is going to consist of our first string and second string. So the same pattern. Now we're just switching strings. And what you really want to focus on is. You know, not sliding to, you know, making that note flat or making it sharp, but making it as in tune as you can on that third string. And then pushing through with your thumb, really giving your thumb a good work out there. <clears throat> so after you slide from three to four twice, and you bring your thumb on through to hit that open second string, right? You're hitting your open first string, third string, second, and then first. But your bar is still on your fourth fret on your third string the whole time. So you're getting a unison note on that second string and the third string, the B unison note. The next one in measure three, this one's kind of tricky. You're having it with your left hand. Keep an eye on my left hand here in the screen. And what you're going to be doing is you're tilting your bar up. Okay, now I keep my ring finger still on my second string, if you can see that. Uh, second string. And then I'm sliding. I'm, I'm sliding from two to three on my second string while hitting this open first string. The thumb, and that's forcing your thumb to be coming up here on your on your higher strings. So you do that twice, and then you hit your open first string, open third string, third fret on your second string, and then open first string, and that's your roll, just like that. So do the slide twice, and then open first string, open third, third fret on your second, open first. So that's a tough one. Not only are you trying to get in tune here on your third fret second string, but you're trying to avoid touching your third string, trying to avoid touching your first string. That's one of the hardest parts because you got to tilt that bar up and make sure you don't come down too much and your ring finger or your bar hit that third string or you're pushing your bar up too far and you're hitting that first string. So it's real, real difficult to, or real challenging to try to get that in tune without hitting any of your other strings and then really work on that thumb. And then the last one, it's the same note that we're sliding into, but it's an octave lower. So we're sliding into this D note on our fifth string. 
okay? And then, so two to three on your fifth string while hitting this, sliding your thumb on through, and hitting that open fourth string. And then hitting that open first string, fifth string, and then your fourth string, but your fifth string has your bar on it on your third fret. things to keep in mind keep those fingers close to the strings and I don't want you to, to play on through and then hit that third string so just work on that and then put the roll in there okay let's try all these now with the jam track here we go G. B. D. Turn that up just a little bit. tempo. Let me try it at the faster tempo, see if I can even do this. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so do that for a while and that will really strengthen up that thumb. That's what we're, we're looking for, this muscle of your thumb there as you push on through to, to, to get that, that muscle happening, get it exercised and, and strengthened up. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to exercise number two.